Welcome to another episode of Timmy Talks, the channel where we talk old school magic. And I've got a letter from the beautiful city of Sydney, Australia. And I love it, man. I love it. Um, I was able to do a trade with Vince and Vince, man. Thank you so much. This letter took over a month to arrive. And usually they say it's going to take about four weeks you know, between three and four weeks. And then when it takes more than that time, I have to admit, I kind of, you know, get nervous because, um, yeah, I really want to have this card. It's just um, such an epic one. And as you can see, it has something to do with this, my collection of blue flyers, beta blue flyers to be precise. And um, there is, there are actually two flyers still missing from the beta collection. So that kind of gives you an idea about what kind of card is in here. So I'm going to open it up. Ooh, there's already the card, I think, or not. Oh, man. Okay, I'm going to cut it the other side. That was not a good move. Can you imagine, like, the card being um, on route for over a month, and then I just <laughs> cut it open here? That would be kind of stupid. Um, okay, here we go. Really well packed. Always checking if there's nothing left in the envelope. No, there is not. It's a beautiful stamps though. Never been in Australia. It's definitely on my list. Kind of hard to travel at the moment. Um, let's see. Let's open this up. And I think especially Australia is hard to travel. I don't want to show the other side of the cart yet. So you know what? I'm just going to open it like this. I don't want to spoil it for you guys. So very well packed. Thank you for doing that, Vince. Really, really appreciate it. And uh, I was also happy to see that my cards already made it on the other side of the pond. Ooh, look at this. <laughs> I love it. I just love custom made cards. Just really appreciate it. Okay, let's just get it out and then we'll, then we'll have a closer look. Rabbit. It's a rabbit wombat. And uh, I always feel like it's eating popcorn. It's in the movies. We actually see, this is this is the popcorn pack, right? It's kind of altered. Crack another funny mate. The Rabbit Wombats, Sydney Old School Magic. Sweet. I appreciate this so much, man. I've got a binder with all these special cards and this is gonna go in there. And whenever I'm able to play with cards like this, and I actually play often with like funny cards, I always check that binder and see if there are any custom made cards that I can put in. So really, really cool. Can I, Put that here and um, this is this is the card what it's all about though and we're gonna change it around BAM and look at this it's a phantom monster and I recently had um, a place set of unlimited phantom monsters coming in because for some reason I want to have those too I'm just crazy about blue flyers uh, but look at this with a black border it's even more beautiful kind of show the whole thing to you here so it's one blue and three for a three three flyer and i know it's a three three you can bold it so what you know try to bold it i'll just counter it i don't care what's really cool when you zoom into the art is that if you look closely just make sure it's zoomed in correctly you see all little little mouths in the back so you actually see more terrors and phantoms if you go deeper into the mouth it's actually something that I really recently noticed. And something else is the art, or I'm sorry, the, the flavor text is really cool. It's uh, by Edgar Allan Poe. It's a quote from the Haunted Palace. So it's really sweet. Jesper Mirfors art, by the way. I think I really think one of his best pieces of art, and he's done a lot of beautiful art for Magic the Gathering, but I think this is definitely one of his best pieces. In my humble opinion, of course. Let me know what's your favorite piece by Jesper Mirforce. I know, I know there are some other really, really good ones. So here we go. So if we then get the other beta flyers, I mean, this is a pretty cool collection to have, right? Man, I'm really, really content with this. And now I'm looking actually for three more of these and three more of these. So I'm getting I'm getting closer to my to my beta blue flyer deck. So really, really thank you, Vince, for sending this to me. And I also would like to thank you for watching another video right here on TV Talks, the channel where we talk old school magic. And if you haven't yet, please consider subscribing, hitting that bell, and of course, 
liking the channel, you know, all that helps. And yeah, leave a comment. Let me know what your favorite Jesper Mirforce art is. Uh, let me know if you're currently also on the hunt for any specific cards. I always uh, love to hear from you. love to see what kind of decks you're currently building. Um, there is one other thing that you can do besides um, subscribing, liking, commenting. All that really helps. Uh, you can also become a sponsor of the show. You can support Timmy Talks, the channel, the content I make. Uh, and you can do that already starting with $1. And how does that work? Well, you can actually join the Timmy Talks Patreon page. There's probably an info card popping up right now. Click on that card that will take you to the Timmy Talks Patreon page. And you can already support the channel for just $1. So it's not like a huge fortune. And it really, really helps me and helps me grow the channel. Um, we've got our own Discord. We do tournaments. It's uh, it's pretty nice. It's actually how I came to this trade with Vince. Uh, Vince is on the Discord. And we just talked about cards. And we exchanged a couple of cards we had left. And um, yeah, he said, you know what? I'm willing to part with my Phantom Monster if you're going to use it in your Blue Flyers deck. So that's kind of how we got towards a trade. So those are all kind of the perks of joining the Patreon program. And last but not least, your name will be in the end scroll. Oh, how cool is that? Talking about that, let's take a look at the end scroll. Let's take a look at our amazing, wonderful patrons and channel members. What shall we do with the drunken sailor? What shall we do with the drunken sailor? What shall we do with the drunken sailor? Ik het als fikker te somber gezien.